we know that we've gone through a lot of transformation. Now, if you look at the cinema's transformation, it's quite similar to that as the mobile phone. If you look above me right now, you see two separate timelines. But if you, after I explain about it, you'll see there's a lot of commonalities. So if you look at the telephone timeline, which is basically the very top, 1919 is the very first rotary phone, for those of you who actually know what's a rotary phone. And then we moved on to cell phones in 1973, and as you can hear me call it, it's called a cell phone back then. And this 2007, that was 10 years ago, we have our smartphones. It feels like we've had it for longer than that, but it's only 10 years. And now it's uh, 2017, it seems like our iPhones, our Androids, we can't live without it. And if you look at the cinema operation, it has evolved in a pretty similar manner. So if you look at the bottom timeline, just under that, that's in the dark or orange. So it's come a long way from, let's see, what is it? 18, uh, 1895, yes, I was correct. That was the first celluloid film projector. Oh, geez, that was like our great-grandfather's era. And there's 1999, almost 20 years ago, we got our first digital camera. That was such a cool thing back then, to have a digital camera. It was one of like the most luxurious items you can think of. And now there's this year, there's 2017, that's the first completely automated cinema. Now, it is def definitely a time of transformation, as I just mentioned. Now, if you pay attention to the cinemas now, so to say, we don't really call them cinemas anymore. It's multiplexes, because cinemas traditionally, like they only play like a few movies all day long. Now, it's basically different houses inside that cineplex. And basically, people still go in, purchase a ticket, and they enjoy a movie. However, these cinemas have gone from two to three screens to now that's up to like 10 or more screens. That require, as you can imagine, it's a substantial number of hours that's required to safeguard their smooth operation. And also, as this trend grows in its market, it has become a time where a completely automated solution is required to answer some of our exhibitors' needs and demands. It is the first ever centralized solution to automatically manage the content storage and playback. Things like show scheduling, we have power supply, and screening quality, three very important things. Now, GDC CA 2.0 launched this year, as you can see right there. Now, that is the exact solution that is sought by our exhibitors to increase the operational efficiency and to also substantially increase that efficiency inside the Cineplex. Now, let's take a look at the GDC CA 2.0 and let's take a look at the benefits. So everyone, please just look at the wall that's on my right-hand side and also right above so you can look at one of these too. So first of all, you might ask, okay, after me telling you so many things, what is Cinema Automation 2.0? Well, it's there's three main breakthroughs, and the, these outcomes are combined. They combine GDC's efforts in the R&D, the research and development, with its long-time understanding and expertise in the cinema industry. So basically, we have leveraged the machine intelligence. So CA 2.0 enhances the efficiency and reduces human intervention so significantly that it revolutionized the behavior patterns in cinema management, and so we call it game changer here. Now the three breakthroughs of the CA 2.0 that contribute to such an impact are, so if you take a look, we have breakthrough number one, we have the SCL 2000 centralized storage playback solution, and then number two, we have the automatic content management and show playlist generation. Last but not least, we have the intelligent power supply management and the quality assurance. Uh, the quality assurance these things I'll go into depth one by one. And for those of you at the back, don't be shy. Just feel free to stand closer so you can see the demonstration a little bit better. Because we'll go into some details that probably need you to come up close. All right, welcome to the Cine Asia, and I'm the host today. My name is Melody Kwan. I will guide you through the whole entire demonstration. And welcome to the presentation of GDC Cinema Automation 2.0 or CA 2.0, that's what it's known for. 
And it is my pleasure to be here to introduce to you a cutting-edge integrated solution that takes our exhibitors to a whole new era of completely automated cinema operation. Now, when I say that, what does that actually mean? Well, it means it's one that leverages machine intelligence to completely revolutionize the cinema management and it also greatly enhances efficiency for us all. Now, that is one that dramatically reduces human intervention and it also takes care of things like content management, show scheduling, power supply, and also the screening quality assurance. Now, what's even more impressive than that, you might ask? Now, at the core of CA 2.0 is a centralized storage playback solution. We're integrated with GDC 6th generation D Cinema Media Server that is featuring the usage of cache memory. Now, this allows exhibitors to play back more than a thousand movies to 14 auditoriums, and that is from one single source. Very impressive. And also, this is done without local hard disk drive storage. So let's direct our attention to the screen on the very right. Let's take a look at that screen right now. Some of you might be quite familiar with this interface. Now this is the first touch point in a cinema. That is a ticketing system, the POS, where people buy the ticket. Now each week, the cinemas actually commonly face this need to create and also to edit many unique show playlists that program things like advertisements, trailers, or even like feature films for showing to the moviegoers. So as you can see there, we have an example. You can see there's 14 houses inside the cinema, and each little square is the packet of those things that I just mentioned, the program advertisements, the trailers, the feature films, so that's for each movie. Now currently, using the existing, that's a semi-automated method, the procedure for this is highly tedious. And the reason why I say that is because it requires a, a high amount of effort to, to be put into this process to make sure um, the accuracy of the show playlist and to properly manage the pre-show feature content. And it's enormous because if this is for a typical day, you've got 14 houses, that's multiplied by how many movies you're playing in each of those houses. That's crazy. And also with GDC CA 2.0 and one of its three breakthroughs, I will jump to the second one first right now. That's breakthrough number two. That's automatic content management and show playlist generation, which you might ask, what is that? So at this point, the operator is only required to conduct programming at the ticketing system. Only in that one place, at the ticketing system, and then it takes care of the rest. That's why it's called automated, right? And it will generate the accurate show playlist when the necessary content, including the advertisements, the trailers, and the feature films. So generate all of that. And this action is enabled by machine intelligence. It only requires a single point programming through the ticketing system. So all they have to do is enter it from the right-hand side. And the remaining procedures are then carried out automatically with no further hassle. The creation or editing of show playlists has never been easier. Now everyone, please take a look at the moving away from the ticketing booth, we're going to see the projection booth. Now, but before I start, I want to ask everyone, just off of the top of your head, what do you think is the most basic, but yet the most important, the most essential procedure inside the projection booth every single day? What do you think? Something that we have to do, but yet it's also the most essential, it's just the most basic thing. What is it? Any ideas? No, not selecting the movies. It's actually turning on the machine. That's step number one. As easy as it sounds, if you got 14 houses in the cinema, it's no longer easy. Now, powering on, every day, the cinema at the beginning of the day, they must arrange a designated personnel to arrive at the cinema at least two hours in advance, at least. And what are they going to do? That's before the first screening, they just need to turn on the power so that all the equipment is ready and it's ready for the first screening in each one of those auditoriums. In this example, we have 14. And through another breakthrough in the CA 2.0, the Wingo Land for Cinema Equipment Management, now the system intelligently manages the power supply based on preset timings. And moreover, the testing of the screening quality, yet another prep task that they must do, which is the testing, that's before every screening, 
we can also be conducted automatically as long as we have preset pra parameters for them. So all we have to do is just set the range for those and they'll do it automatically, which eliminates the need for our staff to be present, yet the cinema can still be ready for screening, so we don't really need anyone there anymore. Now, moving on to the center of the presentation, which is also what we're demonstrating for you today. The key breakthrough is GDC CA 2.0, well, one of the breakthroughs is the SCL 2000 Centralized Storage Playback Solution. Now, what does this do? It allows content management and playback to be carried out in the same location, which, well, what does that mean? It, the solution contains a powerful storage, and I will elaborate what a powerful storage means, but right now, I'll leave it at that. And the SCL 2000 server, which serves as a content library, and it stores over 1,000 movies. 1,000 movies. That's more than 30 times the number in the conventional local storage, which holds up to 33 movies. So you can probably do the math. It's about 30 times. And not only does it have a massive uh, storage capacity, it is also the first ever solution capable of playback to 14 screens, all 14 of them, from one centralized server to each and every media server in a Cineplex. And this function eliminates the need for local hard disk drive storage for each of these 14 screens. So significantly increasing the playback reliability, you can do the math, by 14 times. And behind me, now we have prepared for you, is a live simulation that is from the centralized playback from one single source. In the middle, you see the SCL2000 server that is in the middle right there in a 14-screen Cineplex, all labeled 1 to 14, with seven EDS servers that, that is on the left-hand side for the auditoriums number 1 to 7, and on the right-hand side from number 8 to 14. Now let's take a look at the left-hand side, that's screens 1 to 7. Uh, the Cineplex here has in, installed one SR1000 cinema media server for each one of these screens, and it's labeled, if you look at the side, it says SR1000, now, what is that? SR1000 is GDC's sixth generation D Cinema media server that is designed with Cinecache. Cinecache is a built in cache memory for your information, and it requires no local hard disk drive storage at all. When working seamlessly with the CA 2.0, the solution removes the biggest headache in cinema operations. And actually, I mentioned earlier, right, what is the most basic? That is not the headache. Turning on the machines is far from the headache. It's actually having to manage a broken hard disk drive and to rebuild the rate for each and every auditorium. In this case, it's times 14. Now, let's look at the right-hand side right here. We have screens number 8 to 14. So everyone, please direct your attention right here. Now, it uses the SCL 2000 for centralized playback, if you, look, if you look at it right here. And that is the content through the GDC SX3000 and SX4000 media servers with local storage. Installed for screens 8 to 14, and in this case, the local storage is actually considered as a backup. It's an insurance. It is also optional for our exhibitors to use this approach according to their needs. So this is completely optional. Please remark that. And please direct your attention to the center that is right here. If you look at it, that is the central control. It is the SCL2000 centralized storage server. Now, when I say it had a really huge storage capacity, this is a number. It's 100 terabytes, which enables the storage of more than 1,000 movies. And you might ask, what does that mean? What, is, what does that mean? It means the Cineplex has the flexibility to schedule any of the 1,000 movies, or more, to any of its 14 screens at any given time. And at the same time, it eliminates the need for a 30-minute ingest time for, movie, uh, for each movie in each auditorium. So if you think about it, one movie is 30 minutes. You have 14 auditoriums, and you have more than one movie in each of them. That's quite a lot. And when I said ingest time, it reduced the total ingest time by more than 90%. More than 90%. What's more, the centralized playback solution has the capability to automatically remove contents when necessary. And you might also ask, then, okay, I know what it means, but 
What's the benefit now? Tremendously flexible and dynamic show programming that suits the everyday needs and that it can also cater to some sudden changes inside the Cineplex. Now, I mentioned the centralized playback, right? Now, it can be monitored. If you look at the very middle part right here, at the center screen where you see the green bars, it could be monitored by the cinema staff that is through a user interface that shows the playback progress in the color bars. So as you can see, that's 14, uh, 14 cinemas in there, and that's each of them playing what movie and at what progression. You can see it real, right all, one in, uh, all in one glance. Okay, and in this simulation, you see the playback in all screens is conducted directly from the centralized storage, and which is indicated by the green playback progress bars, as I just mentioned. Now, you also have the option of implementing a combination of centralized and local playback in the auditorium, but as I mentioned, that's just basically optional, and it's completely up to you. Now, most of you, I know at this point, you probably have one question for me, right? Because I had this question, I asked myself this question before, too. It's, you're like, okay, it's quite convenient, everything's in one centralized storage, so we save the work by a factor of 14 times, all the ingest time is saved, but it seems like all the eggs are in one basket. What if something happens to the centralized storage? What if there's a power outage? We can't control that. Now, if, what if it breaks down? Now, a few things. Rest assured, GDC has controlled very thorough testings to ensure the stability and also the reliability of the SCL2000. And besides, CA2.0 has already been successfully installed in cinemas in Beijing, in Nanjing, in Shenzhen, and also in Singapore. And since summer this year, in June, until today, all of our feedbacks have been positive, so we have a perfect track record to this day. However, you will still ask, if there are circumstances when we just cannot control it. What if there is a power outage? It does not happen all the time, but it does happen every now and then. And with this in-depth understanding of the customers that are concerned, we're always one step ahead. We've taken that into consideration. In the unlikely event of centralized server failure caused by uncontrollable occurrences such as power shortage, we have a fail-safe design. If you look at breakthrough number one, we have that design that allows the show to go on autonomously. So that is something that we have covered for everyone. Now, up to this point, I've shown you the benefits of our three breakthroughs of the CA 2.0. Now, Let's do a little summary, shall we? Everyone, please direct your attention to my right-hand side, your left-hand side again. Now, breakthrough number one, SCL2 centralized storage playback solution. So we have one powerful centralized storage server that has the capacity to hold 1,000 movies and to play to playback 14 screens. And the content storage is more than 30 times of that in the conventional storage. And also, the reliability is by 14 times. And at the same time, content ingestion time is reduced by 90%, actually at least 90%. And not only that, as I mentioned, our fail-safe design, it removes the common concerns that are related to the unlikely and very rare occurrence of the centralized server failure. And for breakthrough number two, we have the automatic content management and show playlist generation. And this is when I said there's a single point show programming through the ticketing system. And the automated show scheduling and streamlined content management are enabled in this step here. And it cuts out the tedious and the complicated procedures involving uh, that's involved in the show playlist editing and creation. Not to mention that we're cutting out a lot of human errors as well. So as I mentioned, machine intelligence does it all. And also, breakthrough number three, we have the intelligent power supply management and, and quality assurance. Let me say that again. It's uh, the intelligent power supply management and, and the quality assurance. And now, with no dedicated personnel present, the cinema can still be ready for the screenings and the screening quality is